today is uh, the 23rd of November and I'm going to start a new painting today. This is a painting that I'm going to be doing for my wife Dory. So, uh, she likes this. She always liked this photograph when we were up in the, the Keweenaw, Michigan. I shot this picture and she's always liked it and I have too and I think it would be a, a really good painting to do for her. So today is the 23rd, Monday. Let's see how far I get this week. Come on in, let's get started.
I like working on this board and the paint really sticking on it really well. It's uh, I can't scrape it off. So I think working on this this gator board is gonna be just fine. And when you cut into it, you're basically not you're just cutting it cutting the tape and that's it. I don't feel any spots in here where there's been any cuts. There may be something there. No, nope, that's just some goop or something on there, but no, I don't feel nothing. Feels great. Anyhow, this is not the Delaware. This is up in Keweenaw. This is, um, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's like Bay Grit. Bay Grit. It's probably French. I don't know. But, um, by, it looks like Bat Grease. Or bat, I think it's Bay Grit. Regret, regret, something. Anyhow, it looks good. Before I had this building up here farther, and there was no boat underneath here. There's a boat underneath here now, and it's a protective thing here, which really is not necessary, but I thought I'd put it in there. So basically what I did is I moved the building back so that the building is back on the ground area back in here. And then this area up in here will be just places to store things or to put them down into a boat once it's out here or whatever, you know. That's pretty neat. I don't know, this kind of looks like a wolf sitting up here. Uh -oh. <laughs> looks like a wolf. But anyhow, yeah, it looks like I'm, I'm liking it a lot. So, yeah. Well, today I'm going to work on this foreground. Dagger brush, that is a great brush. These are my new glasses, huh? Pretty trick, huh? It really helps out when I'm doing all these little tiny details in here. So trying to make this bush. But I could get too wrapped up in that, so I'm just going to pull this off and see what I got. So you can kind of get the feeling of it moving backwards. That's not me talking, it's this guy over here. Add to it and change it. You don't have to recreate that same So I'm able to watch somebody else paint while I'm painting. And I can look at you through these new glasses. <laughs> Pretty cool, eh? I like these glasses. Uh. They even have a little light up here. You see right up here? It charges up with the uh, US on USB, which I haven't gotten it charged yet, but I will tonight. So time to get back to this painting. I like what I the new part of the buildings here and here. In here, uh, this whole area down here, I have to, probably have to go work on it some more. This is going to be a fun piece down in this area down here. I'm going to put all kinds of little sticks and stuff that are folded over. It's going to yeah, be like give it a, a nice pattern. Worth I would. So anyhow, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to work on this and I'll show you what it looks like in just a little bit. Even though I can't turn Eric off, I'll just put this on.
that's about enough for tonight. I think uh, I got a good mix in here. I'm going to be putting in some more weeds in here and drawing in some more of the whites and stuff that needs to be in here. Some of the shadows. See you tomorrow. Well, this is one of the things that I've been putting off for the longest time. The picture that I had taken of this boat back in probably when we were on our honeymoon back in the 70s I shot through some pine trees and pine cones were like surrounding the whole painting like this like I was shooting through it mom loved the photograph I did too I mean it was just a beautiful composition and it still is but am I gonna be able to pull that off am I gonna be able to put pine cones around there and make them blurry like the camera made them not sharp but blurry I haven't done that I think it can be done with um, airbrushing um, without any kind of a template so that's probably might be one of the things I'm gonna do but I'm gonna get working on that so I thought I'd show you what this looks like <laughs> before before I get to do it because I really like it and Dory really likes it right now too but <sighs> yep I'm gonna have to do it stay tuned